Oh, hey. Welcome to the Faction episode. Very nice that you could join us. guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Factor series. I have no idea what that intro was. I don't know. Um, but like, I can do this anytime I want. Just anytime. <laughs> but anyway guys, welcome to today's episode of Factions. We are going to be trying to get to level 7, but we are just about to complete level 6. It took a little while, but I'm finally have it done. Actually, no, I don't have it done. I have the kind of grinding aspect of it done, but now you need to kill five horde mobs to continue. So to get to level seven, I need to kill five hordes, which is actually not too bad because like last one was like 10 hordes. Different levels require different amounts, but now we can do something that's really going to benefit us a lot and how we can make actually a lot of money. We now, once we get a sharp enough sword, which will make it a much better to grind, of course, but now we can get skeleton heads. And if you don't know, Skeleton heads sell for $80 a pop, which is absolutely insane. It's double the price of cow heads, which is really good. And then in the future, when we get high enough level, we can then move on to zombie pigmen, which are currently at the moment $175 per head, which is insane. That's a lot of money you can make. But anyway, guys, welcome to Factions. If you enjoyed this episode, go down below, smash that like button, and comment your in-game name down below if you play Overlord. Because today, in today's episode, I am going to be giving away the highest rank on the server, which is Rogue. And if you already have one, don't worry, you can enter. Just put your friend's name in. And I will pick the winners shortly in one of, one of the next coming episodes. So, there you go. Random giveaway. Why not? You support me. I support you. But anyway, guys, it is time to get geared. We are going to go and attempt to see if we can kill those um, five hordes. We're not going to be bringing our faction members or anything like that. We're just going to be go solo. I'm going to be bringing my IG mask um, because I really don't care if I lose it. Because if I never bring this out, it will never level up. So even if I lose it, then the other person will probably level it up. And then he'll probably lose it. But so on, at least it will be getting leveled up as players use it more and get kills with it. So I'm just going to wear it. I don't care. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> But we're going to see if we can prime, find some prop 4 and maybe a sharper sword and head out. Oh, that's Ted stuff. I don't want to steal Ted stuff. He'll get angry. There should be sharp 4s. Okay, there's leggings. Where's boots? All right, we're geared. We're ready to go. We're jumping down. I'm going to head to the volcano because that's like my place where I like to wait. And then we're going to wait for a horde to spawn in. Hopefully an enchanted horde will spawn in a few minutes. That would be... I think I'd definitely be able to complete the mission then. Scavenger hordes are... A bit iffy. Usually you have to wait like for like at least two hordes to complete a mission with those. Because you just don't kill enough of them. But they spawn in often, so they make up. Would you look at that? My faction's here. That's great to see. Looks like I'm not the only one waiting for hordes. Unless they know I'm going here. Okay. I have a feeling a fight is about to break out before hordes even come. Like these guys are duplicating quite big. I don't know. Like do we fight or what? Now they're friendly at the moment. I would like to keep them friendly because my main mission is not to PvP at the moment. It is to kill those hordes. But they're duplicating at a kind of an alarming rate and there's only three clickbait members here. Kind of worrying. Alright, so the Pit of Doom has just started. So we're going to see if we can actually take the Pit of Doom and see if we can get the stuff from it. I'm probably going to end up dying, but let's just freaking see. Now I have all these Viking members behind me. And I'm pretty sure we're going to turn against them. All right, boys, kill anyone who is not a truce or anything like that that comes into the arena. Because I want to see if we can win this thing. Because I think you get, like, basically you get keys here. So, and it's a good source to get mystical charms. If you're lucky, which would be pretty darn handy. Who is bowing us? Who is that? Oh, is it this? True. Oh, okay. Should that we just... True, Let's just kill them. Just kill them. Because, like, we want to get the rewards. And, like, if they, if they go out of here, leave them be. But if they want to jump in here... Oh, God. <laughs> this guy is one more covered in the corner. <laughs> But I yeah, if he wants to leave, he can leave and then just leave him be. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Leave him be if he wants to go. That's it. Sorry, buddy, but we want to win. <laughs> we want we want to make sure we tr we have our best chance of winning. Because I'm pretty sure if these guys win, they'll run off of it. So we won't be seeing it. Oh, no, they're fighting back. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Dude, this guy has a, uh, a spider mask, which is actually pretty decent. Poison is fairly annoying to get if you level up. I, I, I just can't come back. There we go. There we go. He's going up. He's going up. He can't get up. All right, he's out. Just don't chase him. Stay in here because yeah, you like don't that. know when the he's stuff will him. drop. All right, so a huge war has broke out. We're just literally trying to secure the arena right now. And just hopefully one of our faction members, our truces gets it. 
It's be it's kind of evil what we're doing, but like, look, we're trying to fight for the reward. So what can we do, I guess? I didn't come here for this. I came here to level up, but I'm willing to try. This is my first time literally being in the arena. So this is actually really interesting. Another guy just died. Okay, we're clearing it out. Now we need to make sure that we clear invisible people as well, because if they're here, they, yeah, look over here. This guy could get the rewards if he actually is sneaky enough, which if he gets it, fair play to him. So if you don't know what this is, this is the pit of doom where in a random amount of time, it will pick a winner. So basically there is no objective. All you gotta do is technically jump in here and survive. The more faction members you have in here, the more chance you have of being the winner, I guess, because it just picks someone at random. So the more people you have on your side, most likely it's gonna be you. Oh my God, there's so many people at the edge of the entrance just waiting to come down. Oh, that guy in iron. No, no, no. <laughs> stay back, stay back. <laughs> oh, invisible guy here. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? They're so fast, come here. Oh, it's a, it's a truce. Oh no, it's not. Okay, boom, he's dead. The troubling thing is right now, we have to make sure that we have inventory space because if we don't, we might not get the reward. Like we might get it, but it might glitch out and we might not get it because our inventory is full. But right now we're doing a good job of clearing everyone out. They're not jumping in at the moment, but I have a feeling they're gonna jump in soon. Is our it's truces just fighting okay. truces here? Like Girl Scouts are just fighting a machete and then we're just sitting here like, yeah, yeah go. Wait, who do we go for? <laughs> I don't know. Um... Well, machete from what I know are good allies. Oh, Viking member in here. I feel bad, but I gotta kill you, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to keep space in my inventory. I don't want to accidentally get chosen and I just don't get it. Make sure you clear invisible people yeah. out here. I've killed a few of them already. Because if they get it, like, they can be long gone. You wouldn't even notice. Oh, oh yes, no, unknown. Oh, GG, oh, GG. Yes. Okay, get out. Okay, so one of our faction members actually ended up getting the thing, which is amazing. But I think it was guaranteed that one of our faction members were going to get it. Because we pretty much cleared out the arena. And these guys weren't jumping in. Okay, I'm going to go straight to spawn for a second. Like, literally, our truces... Our fight and our truces. Like, there's not much we can do. We can't intervene. All right. We're just chasing some of the enemies down before we open up that uh, reward that we got. This guy, does this guy have a... Oh, he does. He has a wolf mask. I wonder if it's fully leveled up. I doubt it. Oh, Bendix here. Hello. Just go on him, I guess. <laughs> Let them chase. Will Bendix fight? No, he's running. He's, he's on the run. He's on the run. He's going low. Just keep him on the pot. He's going to pearl. He's going to... Did he just pearl? Yeah, he did. Viking, if you watch this, Bendik, dude, I remember you. I love you. I just want to fight, okay? Nothing more than that. I'm sure some of you, if you're a long-term faction viewer, you probably know this person in PvP right now. He's a nice guy. Too bad I'm killing him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just took the bait. Like, I think the wolf guy was actually, like, more OP. And this guy is the distraction, and we took the bait. I don't usually fall for the bait, but I think I did today. Oh, we got a guy behind us. Hello. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, hello. Machete OP. Wait, what? Are you guys? Oh, wait. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're allies. What? Why are they neutraled? Okay, that was confusing. Now I've lost Bendik. That confused me. Oh, there he is. There he is. I'm here. He's going to get away. He's going to get out into the wilderness and pearl away. Oh, no, he's not. He's going back to the war zone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just took the bait for a distraction. Definitely did. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go on, dig into him, dig into him, Ryan. Go on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, just keep him like this. He's going to pearl in a second. Oh, he already did. Where'd he go? He's down there. Okay, right, we have about 18 seconds until he can pearl again. If so, someone could bow boost onto him, that would probably be really good. Now, this is my last speed part. So after this, I have no more speed. So it's not. It's up to them to chase him down after my, like, one minute. Go on, that's it. That's it. This guy must be going low on parts. Come on. I don't really want to... Did he just pearl? Yeah, he pearled. Oh, he's there. Going left. Come off. Oh, Bendik, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, dude. Where's your other faction members? You had tons of them. Did they all... Oh, boom. I got a kill. Oh, wow. That's impressive. I usually never get a kill. All right. There we go. Bendik, dude. I'm sorry. What happened to all your... Fa oh, yo. Let's go. Sharp five. What happened to all your faction members, Bendik? He had freaking tons of them at the start of the episode. All right, I'm going to head back out into Warzone and make sure I'm camping, I think, because I can't forget the real objective for this episode, and that is obviously, well, to PvP a little bit, but to level up. I need to kill hordes, and I need to wait for the scavenger horde to spawn in, so I need to basically wait and be ready for it. I'm just going to jump out the back, go back up onto the um, volcano and see what happens. I might actually end up getting killed today, but we'll see what happens. Doesn't really matter if I do. As long as I rank up in that process, I'll be happy out. <laughs> 
But yeah, we won the Pit of Doom, which is sitting in my PV right now, so we're gonna open that soon. So as you can see, you can get bloody containers, mystical charms, it's basically your best source of getting charms. That's what it is. If we got mystical charms from that, that would be freaking insane. Alright, we kind of got enemies hanging around, I'm just gonna literally... I'm coming for my sword. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, did I PV that? Definitely. Oh, I didn't, but I put it in the chest. I'll get that later. That, that was a really good sword. I should be using it myself right now, but I'd rather save it. Now, I did see enemies over here. PvP, but I'm just waiting for the horde, dude. Okay. We got two guys over here. I'm gonna save you, buddy. Magnoga, I'm gonna save you. Don't worry. I'm, I'll, I'll do my best. I'll come in. I'll try to take him out. <laughs> okay, let's go for this guy. Go for this guy. Okay, he's probably on the way. If he's probably on the way, I'm gonna swap him to the other guy. This is my mountain. This is my volcano. I'm going to control this the best that I can. Oh, dude, what kind of mask? What does Endermite even do, mask-wise? I'm not even sure. Oh, God, he's doing damage. Oh, this guy's good. This guy's a good match. Oh, and the server reboot is happening. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's what I like to see. Should we just end this fight here so none of us die? Yeah, yeah, do you want to go? Yeah, I think it's probably, it's, prob it's probably for the best, dude. The reboot's about to happen, you know? Yeah, the reboot's about to happen. You know, if we're in combat when the reboot happens, we're both dead no matter what, so... Goodbye, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. They're gonna be like, dude, he's running. Why is he running, dude? No! Don't you dare put me in combat! No, I am not dying to a reboot. We can continue to fight when the server comes back up. All right, there we go. Server's back up. Are we gonna die? Probably. Oh, here we go. He was waiting for me. <laughs> Cheeky nugget, dude. Oh, God. What's going on? He's, like, protected by spawn at the moment. Everything's catching up. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, everything is catching up as people are logging onto the server. This is not a good idea. This is a 2v1, I repeat, a 2v1. Oh my god. Roger, Roger, oh, Niner, no. Niner. I can confirm that I am in a 2v1. Can I get one person for existence, please? Please, please, please. One person, just one person. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Niner, Niner. Thank you, thank you. All right, no more people. Don't TP anyone else in. Keep this 2v2. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get back on it. Let's get back on the horse. He's running, dude. It's a 2v2. Don't worry, dude. It's a 2v2. No more. Just a 2v2. It's a fair squares fight. The server is a little bit laggy as the, everyone's logging onto it, but that's to be expected. No problem, dude. No problem. Oh, dude. These guys are on me. They're on both of us. These guys are good. I think we should focus the weakest link. Roger, oh, Roger, Niner, good. Niner. We have a third person in the vicinity. Can we have another person, please? Can we get a delivery of an <laughs> Amazon Prime person, please? TP, TP accept me. TP, yes. Alright, there we go. Niner, Niner. Thank you. No more people, please, until it's another person here. Okay, so it's a 3v3 at the moment. Actually, it could be a 3v4. Did they TP another person in? No, I don't think they did. Oh, dude! Can we make our way to the volcano, please? I need to kill some of those things. Did I just fall into the pit of doom? <laughs> no, dude, no! Just fell into the pit of doom. They think I'm running, but I'm not. I'm secretly trying to get some kills. At least if I'm gonna die, I died a nice way. Okay, go get to the volcano. A anyone's here, get to the volcano. I'll need you at the volcano, okay? Please hit us some up here. Okay, so right now I'm running up the hill just so I can get some of these kills. I'm not interested in them at the moment. I should be, but I need these kills. Please say they're even up here or this is a waste of time. Oh, yes. 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 Okay, let's kill these. Kill them. Okay, there we go. There's one kill. Sweet. Thank you. It's the main important thing. Okay, and then the rest are all gone. Okay, I got one kill. Sweet. Okay, right. There is loads of people here. I'm going low on pots because I had to run away. And then while I was running away, I was just kind of popping myself because I'm getting stabbed in the back constantly. This is a uh, kind of a dangerous game right now. Oh, and my armor is about to pop, which I'm going to swap out right now. Boom, boom, boom. So I don't lose it. Cause, like, you know, I'd rather keep it alive if I can repair it instead of just losing it straight away. They probably thought I was running, but I was just running to try to see if I can get some horde kills. Oh, this guy's on me and he's dead. Okay, right. Well, now it was a little bit unfair because there is loads of us here. But like originally, I was only TPing people into the fight. But then what I came here for changed the whole fight because the, the horde spawned in. I needed the hordes. So I ran for them. <laughs> All right, I need to go shop and actually home. Actually home. Is that an enemy to my right? No. Okay, home. New base. I need to go back to the base, store this stuff. We got some prop three. We got a sharp three. Just store this and then repair our prop four. Not gonna lie though, those drip guys were really good at PvP. They were pretty decent. I look forward to having more battles with them in the future. Or maybe even today, because I'm going back in. I need to wait for more hordes. Okay, so the next horde will be in around 16 minutes. It's a long time to wait, but I have to. 
All right, so surely the horde is going to spawn in again. I just hope I get lucky and four just like land up here, spawn up here. I hope I get really ha lucky with that. And then that's it. This mission is done. We're slowly getting there. I don't think we're going to be doing a mission per level because it is quite a mission per level, mission per episode because it is quite hard. But yeah, I hope it goes well. 15 seconds apparently. I'm going to pop up. I don't know. Has it been 25 minutes already? That feels very quick, but maybe it has. Jeez, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Five seconds. Oh my god, he's dead on right. He's dead on right. He's dead on right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Tag him all up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh no, someone's gonna steal those kills off me. Who's potting him? Who's potting him? No! Come here! Come here! Someone stole one kill! <laughs> no! Okay, alright, head down here, head down here. Go, go, go. Speedy! Gotta be speedy. Hey, okay, hopefully there's some more hordes down here. Oh, I see one. One will do for a second. I don't really want to waste my pots just in case enemies do run in. There's one. Okay, boom. There we go. I believe we need one more kill now. One more kill and we have this mission done. <gasps> no. Okay, is there any there? No, not in line around there. What's up? They haven't been all killed yet. There's still one. There's still at least one alive because as I said, the horde has been completely wiped out. Oh no, the horde has been defeated. All right, ripperoni pepperonis. One more is all we need. We should be able to get that. Later on, like, one kill is doable. Oh, I'm being stabbed in the back. Okay. And we got cream pie here. Okay. And a fight is about to break out. And this is why I was saving my pots. Oh, he, dude, this guy's running. I think he's... I think he's... <laughs> how many people are around us? Oh, my God. Truce has just rolled up. Oh, he's... Okay, he's out of here. He's running. He's running. Okay, I don't blame him. Oh, Mikey needs help. I'm here, Mikey. I'm here for you. Get away. <laughs> okay, he's Bob with himself. Okay, this guy's just gonna run. I'm not really... I'm, I'm not really gonna fight him. If I had a if I had a punch tube bow myself, I probably would, or like an undead horse mask. You'd be able to keep up with him. But there's no way I'm keeping up with him. But anyway, let's go investigate the legs. Let's see what's going on down over here. Maybe we can kill a little bit of time and, you know, wait for another horde to appear. Yo guys, what's up? I'm not gonna kill you, because if I was in if I was sitting around here, I don't think I'd want to be killed. I bet I'm just saying, one day, one of these days, I probably will have an episode where I go on a rampage and just kill everyone at the lake just for some fun. So just be prepared for that. All right, this is actually perfect. So right now there is a parkour event being done by the admins and apparently the next horde in about five minutes less than that is meant to be a enchanted horde. So that means that a lot of people will be at a parkour event and hopefully not killing the hordes so we can just take well advantage of it. This could get fairly interesting. <laughs> okay, one minute until the horde spawns in. Okay, never mind. It wasn't the horde that was meant to spawn in. It was a boss mob. Now, I have no idea where it is and if any of my allies are even here. Am I gonna die? I'm probably gonna die. Oh, dude. Where's the boss mob? Where is he? He's here. <laughs> oh my god, there's loads of people here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, go, go. I'm gonna die. We're gonna die. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I don't know if this guy does so much damage, but... I think I'm too late that I'm not even going to get top damage or any single reward. So, I don't know if being here is the right idea. I can't even see a thing right now. This is absolutely insane. So, anyway, it's not a horde, but we'll leave it there. Okay, I'm just going to do my best to dig in. Who knows? Maybe I might come second or third or maybe even sixth even. Nah, what's the chance of that? <laughs> I can't even see where he is. There's so many people here. Oh god, I feel sick. <laughs> okay, I'm just swinging. I have no idea if I'm even hitting. Where is he gone? Hello? Hello? Where is he? Is he over here? I see people running over this way. Uh, I've lost him. I've definitely lost him. Is he here? Oh, I got a reward. Go, 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 go. He's dead, he's dead. But I actually came like top damage. One of the top damages anyway. Not the top, but I got something. Let's get out. Because if you become, I think it's like uh, the top damage to the 10th, like highest damage person gets a reward. Now you don't get as good as a reward for coming first or second, but you get a decent enough reward. It's, it's a reward, so I'm happy out nonetheless. All right, let's get to spawn quickly. Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> it's unknown. Okay, sweet. Okay, so yeah, I can confirm we weren't the top damage and we weren't the second top damage at least. We got a Titan Crystal, which gives something I don't know, one arm- one general armor set, something charms, and potentially group rags. Alright, we'll just pop this thing open, see what we get from it. Three, two, one, boom! We got Prop 4 Leggings, two Necro Charms, and one Kill Tracker for a bow. 
It's, not, it's all right. I wish it was a kill tracker for a sword, not a bow. And also, you saw earlier that we won the Pit of Doom. So before I open up these two Necro Charms that I got from the boss mob, might as well open these and see what other charms you get. Maybe we might just get more Necros. It is completely random. It's basically a random amount of charms and it could be ending. Also, it could be potentially a bloody container. Three, two, one. Let's pop this open. Boom. We got one Enchanted Charm, which is pretty darn decent. Like, you know, that's quite good. Usually, I thought with my luck, I'd just get Ancient or Necros. We got two Ancients and two um, Enchanted. So, let's just go ahead, open these things. This is going to be a bit of a long episode today, but we're grinding the War Zone out. This is all the potential fruit that you can get from the War Zone if you uh, perk it participate in it and survive very important that you have active allies active truces active faction members and just have fun pvp and it's very important all right so there we go we got four blade notes okay um we got enchanted books which do we get anything good from it oh we got aquatic blade five that's sick that is really good and do we get anything else okay everything else we're just gonna throw out dual strike dual strike just gonna throw out bloody notes we got Made a decent bit of money off. Let's go again. Open up. That was only from the Ancient Charms as well. The Aquatic Blade 5 to get is pretty decent. Creeper Eggs. Primal Pickaxe. Not too bad. Take the eggs. Not really interested in the Pickaxe at the moment because I have plenty of them. Okay, what are we going to get from the Necro? Oh, go on. Oh, I thought we were going to get the Bones Reward. So, we got Obsidian. We nearly got $10,000 and we got two advanced books. Are we going to get de anything decent from this? E no. Okay, that was dreadful. <laughs> And then we have another Necro Charm. Oh, go on, give me that bonus. Nope, so close to getting a bonus for us. So we need to go 25,000. We've got two Raider Elixirs and a one Kid Assassin, which is Protection 2. Okay, I was hoping it'd be at least Protection 3, but that'll do anyway. And then for the good one, we have the Enchanted Charm. Let's pop this open. Go on. Give me a legendary money pouch if it is possible to get this from the Enchanted Chest. I'm not even sure if it is, but just something like that would be... Alright, okay, right, so 12 play notes, good source of money, if you're lucky enough, and 1x enchanted harvester hoe. This tool was forged with the magical essence to, so it collects all the crops you we weep with it. Sure, Kane. Okay, um, I guess that would have been maybe good for the start of the map, but technically right now it's, it's not really that great. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop this to someone. There you go. You know, if any of you guys are starting out on the map, you know, maybe that thing might come in handy. Oh, God. That's not a good start. I popped open the bloody note and got $123. 5,000, 2,000, 25k, 40k. Okay, not too bad. Okay, it made up for the end of it. Which brings us up to $745,000. Not bad. Now, before we end off this episode, I am going to get at least, at least one more horde kill. And we're going to rank up. And then that is our objective for this episode done. It has been a grind episode, I know. And then I probably will take try and take a break from leveling up in tomorrow's episode. And maybe try to do some raids if possible. Literally like sitting here and waiting. Just for like these hordes to spawn in. And these two guys run up. Oh, they look hostile. <gasps> oh, no. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the horde is literally about to spawn in. I just need one kill. That's all I literally need. One singular kill. Oh, people are here. People are here. I am ready to go. I'm ready to jump down and do my best. I don't care if I die. I just want that one kill. That's all. Not sitting here and waiting for- Oh, you cheeky bug. I will jump down. I will do my best to fight you. One kill and I'm out. And then I can end up this episode and we've had a super productive episode. Alright, here we go. Are they gonna turn on me? I will summon my whole faction if you turn on me. Okay, they've turned on me. Niner, Niner, Roger, Roger. We have a 2v1 in progress. Can we get another... Actually, a 3v1, please. Can we get another... Pre actually, a 2v1, I think it actually is. The other guys got to get involved. Can we get some assistance over here, yo? Thank you very much. Niner, Niner, Niner. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I need to get one of these kills. Oh my god, there's freaking tons of them. So many. Wrap the kills up, boys. Let me get this kill. Let me get this... Okay, I'm done. The mission is done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. This this Niner Niner in progress is now nearly complete. If we can just finish... <gasps> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I wasn't looking at my health and I nearly died. Okay. Niner 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 Diner. Where are you? Uh, we're in the volcano. It's my like little spot, you know? You should know that by now. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so the mission is done. I had to summon a few faction members because, you know, I mean, they started on me. And I wasn't going to until I saw the 2v1. And then I accidentally TP too many in, so now we're, now we're unfairly fighting them. But what can you do? These guys can easily run away if they need to. God, these guys do amazing damage. Like, everyone just seems really good at PvP lately. It's amazing to see. Right, I'm getting out of here because I need to repot anyway because I barely have any pots left. So if I get into another little tricky situation, I most likely will not be surviving it. But I did not come here for the fight. Well, I came to fight hordes. But to end of this episode, I am going to rank up. And by doing that, we have completed our objective for the episode. I've been recording for an hour and 34 minutes. This has been my longest recording by far when it just comes to kind of basically PvP and that spawn. Oh god, thank god I got, got out there. My armor nearly broke. And we got a Necro Charm, which I will open in the next episode. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>